The Court of Appeals for the state of Georgia has decided to not only handicap Fonnie Willis, but to give Donald Trump quite possibly the biggest gift imaginable. Here's what's happening in Georgia. As we all know, back in April, Judge Scott McAfee, the one who is going to be overseeing Fonnie Willis's prosecution of Donald Trump, he rejected a motion from Donald Trump's legal team requesting that Fonnie Willis be removed from the case and that the charges against Donald Trump be dismissed. That is of course what happened after the, you know, uh, relationship with fellow prosecutor, former prosecutor, now Nathan Wade, uh, came to light. They had the hearings, they had the investigation. The judge determined Fonnie Willis did nothing wrong. Therefore he's not going to remove her from the case. That was back in April. And then Donald Trump appealed it. And the Georgia court of appeals about a month ago said, okay, we'll hear your appeal. And then that was the last we heard until yesterday. And yesterday the court of appeals said, okay, we finally determined a timeline here. We're going to go ahead and hear your appeal. How does October 4th sound for you? October 4th, they are kicking the can four months down the road in order to protect Donald Trump because they can't obviously have a trial for Donald Trump while this appeal is pending. Oh, they can go through motions. They can, you know, submit evidence, things like that. Judge Scott McAfee says, but they can't hold a trial till after that court of appeals rules on whether or not one Fonnie Willis gets to stay on the case and two, whether or not all the charges should just be immediately dismissed. And they're not even going to hear oral arguments until October 4th, which means there is no possible way for Donald Trump to stand trial in the state of Georgia before this year's election. That is why they did it. This was not an accident. It was not a coincidence. They could have held this hearing next week if they wanted to, but they don't want to. They want to protect Donald Trump as best they can. And here's where things get even a little bit murkier because Donald Trump is not going to be the only person from that trial up for reelection this year. You know who else is? Fonnie Willis. So what better way to trash this prosecutor than to drag her through the mud unfairly when she's already been cleared a month before her reelection? That is what this is about because they know that if we can spend a couple weeks prior to her election, making her look horrible, then maybe she'll lose. And then we'll get a different DA who will come in and drop the charges against Donald Trump. That is what is happening here, folks. This is less about preventing Donald Trump from being tried before the election and more about trying to smear up Fonnie Willis before her reelection. So you can replace her with somebody that'll drop the charges immediately. That's what's going on here in the state of Georgia. It is unfair. It is undemocratic. It is an abuse of the justice system, but this is what these idiot Republicans are willing to do. Bastardize the entire system in order to protect an already convicted felon. Hey everybody. I don't know if you've noticed this, but we are closing in on a pretty major milestone here at fair and balanced as we approach 500,000 subscribers, but we're not there yet. And we definitely need your support. So if you're not already, please do subscribe to the channel and don't forget like and comment on the videos and share them as widely as possible.